morning, good morning, guys, and a welcome, welcome into the Trucker Rudy Show here this morning. We have just finished delivering uh, our final delivery with this particular load. So, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it started snowing this morning. Yesterday, In nothing was mile, white up right here. Up, it really wasn't. Take the entrance to the ride and Yeah, you gotta slow her down for this railway crossing up here but yeah so we are finally officially delivered our final load with this particular trip now we got about eight miles to go until we get to our uh, reload location so uh, yeah, got us a little bit of a ways to go, but not too bad. You know, this is this is fairly close considering normally you don't get a reload that close from where you offload, you know. Which it's nice. It really is. It's only sucky part is right now it's <laughs> starting to snow a little bit or it has been snowing uh, and we got just enough to cover the ground feet, I guess right on US 169 and, and then uh, the entrance to the ride in 290 feet I'm a little worried this is a little bit of a hill up here it could get slick here and I'm empty right so I have no traction whatsoever so we're gonna have to take it really easy and then uh, we get these guys stopping here here we go guys we just got our load on yeah that makes me happy 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 and now we are leaving uh, St. Joseph yeah and uh, it's finally stopped snowing but we still have a very wet road so a lot of spray is getting off the tires from vehicles right yeah and I got this river up here to the left of me that looks pretty neat doesn't it in my opinion at least it does looks like we got some kind of dredge or whatever they call it up there you know tugboat or whatever not sure exactly what they call them but got a boat up there anyway some sort and yeah we're going to be traveling on the 229 here up to the 29 and then uh we'll uh Hit the 29 and start adding north. Yes, indeed. Looks like my weight is going to be pretty accurate. They loaded it pretty good. At least to me, it's pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. But hey, we got uh, 850 miles to go until we get to our uh, delivery. So, uh, we're supposed to be there tomorrow which I guess can happen but it is a bit of a tight one but I think we can do it I really do believe we can do it let's get her back into the right lane up here so yeah we'll go go a little bit down the road and then uh, I'm gonna probably stop somewhere and grab me a bite to eat because I'm getting a little bit hungry and I'm gonna need to take my half an hour break anyways later which right now I don't really have to like I'm good to go for for a good while but I figured ah, eh, I'll go down the road a little ways and take my half an hour break probably probably have me breakfast or something or make me some sandwiches We'll see exactly what we'll end up doing, but in the meanwhile, let's hammer down and get out of this area, get out of the snow. All right, we just entered Iowa, and uh, apparently the chicken house is open. Yeah. So I guess this is going to be the moment of truth to find out if we are 100% legal. I didn't scale the load because my gauges look pretty good, so uh, I guess we'll find out. But uh, I think I should be all right. That's what I'm thinking. Continue on this road for 36 miles. But we'll miles. know here in a minute. We'll definitely know if they pull us around to the back. We know we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. 
Gotta keep an eye on these lights, right? So this way, just in case they change their lights. Yeah, let's see here. Keep saying green. Proceed. All right. I kind of figured we were all right because uh, it's only 42,000 pounds, and according to my gauge up here, I'm under. I'm probably around 33,000 on my drives. So I should be all right. Should be all right. So let's hammer down. I think I'm gonna go up here uh, another uh, 38 miles down the road and uh, make me a pit stop in there. Go have me a bite to eat. Took me a little bit of a cash advance out there uh, yesterday. And so I think I'm gonna go in here and have me a bite to eat. I've been eating in the truck quite a bit this week, so I figured, ah, eh, I'll uh, have me a bite in the restaurant for a change. And this load is one of those loads that is uh, uh, what they call totes, big plastic containers, and we got liquid in it. And so every time I slow down, speed up, it goes <laughs> like that, you know, it's like, oh man, this is going to be... I'm gonna be happy when I get this stuff off of my trailer, I guarantee you. So, let's hammer down and make our way to the truck stop and go have us a good bite to eat. Here we go, guys. We just pulled her into this uh, TA truck stop and uh, let's go in and uh, go across the road and go to a Mexican restaurant, yeah. And I am enjoying that beautiful, beautiful sunshine over there. Yes, indeed I am. So, let's go and uh, have us some uh, good lunch. I'm hungry. Here we go, guys. We are at this Mexican place. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that is some good stuff right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and go ahead and have me uh, a good lunch. What do you guys think? Here I am, finally time to hit the road again. We had us that awesome, awesome lunch as you guys saw. Yeah, that was awesome. I really, really like that. It's been a couple of days since I ate in a restaurant, so. In two miles. That was definitely good food. I really enjoy that, that's for sure. But what I also am enjoying is that beautiful sunshine. Yeah, I like that. I'm telling you. Now it is time to hammer down and go down the road. We still have 716 miles to go. I got seven hours and 55 minutes remaining of uh, drive time remaining before I would have to take another half an hour, but I only have like eight hours, eight and a half hours of uh, before I run out of my 14. So it's kind of useless, right? And besides, it's uh, exactly 12 o'clock right now, so if I uh, run another 8 hours, that's already 8 o'clock tonight, right? So, uh, that'd be late enough for me. <clears throat> haven't even really looked to see how far that will get me, but we'll give it a shot and see how far we make it. That's all I can say. We're going to go ahead and give it a shot and go as far as we can go tonight. Speed warning? I thought there was 65. I think the GPS is uh, still not updated it. I think there's still... Uh, like, see, they used to have construction through here, right? So I think the GPS is still thinking it's 55 speed limit through here. And I think further up it might be. Maybe not. I might be wrong, but... Anyway, so I slowed her down to 55 speed limit, I guess, just to be on the safe side. Because I didn't see any speed limit signs up here yet, but... Anyways, we are now on Council Bluff. I don't think I did tell you guys where we are. And they're at the TA, just across the street from the uh, TA is where there is a nice Mexican restaurant. And I like having Mexican food, you know, so... 
Went in there and had me good lunch, right? Coming up to Watertown, South Dakota, guys. We are making good time today. Oh yeah, I like it, I like it. I feel great today. We're just having an all around pretty good day in my opinion. We did get a little bit of snow up there in the Sioux Falls, South Dakota, but wasn't anything major. Just a little bit of flurries. And that sun is trying to go down over there again. I'm looking at it. You guys might be able to see it a little bit. Looking pretty good there. But I had we got clouds again. But my buddy Mitch, he's up there in Grand Forks area right now, or he was earlier anyways. And uh, he said it was uh, it was nice and clear up there. So we should be able to uh, run out of these clouds hopefully eventually, or hopefully it won't be snowing at least. But the temperature is dropping dramatically. It was only minus four earlier, and now we're down to minus 11. And everybody has been saying that at home it was uh, pretty cold this last night. It dropped down to 24 below zero. Plus the wind chill, it was minus 38 Celsius this morning apparently. So that's pretty chilly. That it is, yeah. So I'm gonna go up to Fargo and spend the night there. But I'm gonna go down to the Love's truck stop, get me fuel over there. And the company did give me kerosene, so I'm gonna make sure I put some kerosene in it because it's number two diesel, right? Uh, it could be a chance that it could freeze overnight, right? So we're gonna try and make sure that that doesn't happen. And then we'll have us a good night's sleep, but we're probably, I don't know, maybe another two hours away from it. Yeah, we got quarter to five, quarter to six, quarter to seven, maybe even two and a half hours yet, but around that time anyways. So let's get on down the road and make it there and call it a day, right? I have now made it to Fargo, North Dakota. Yes, indeed. And uh, I went in and fueled up because I needed some fuel because it's going to be pretty cold overnight, right? So. Uh, I also poured in some of that kerosene that they uh, gave me, so uh, we shouldn't be freezing up. Well, all reality, it is already the next morning, and uh, I had my truck set so that it would start automatically when needed, and so this morning it it uh, finally needed it, so it started up, and it's running right now to uh, to get the uh, battery charged back up and all that good stuff. But uh, anyways. If you guys haven't, uh, or, or let me put it to you guys this way, if you guys are anything like me, and you guys enjoy music like I do, do me a favor and go to Speaker Radio and uh, search for Trucker Jukebox on there. He uh, plays uh, a lot of country music, and he does uh, music by request as well. And if you like what uh, you guys hear on there, do me a favor, go uh, follow his channel over there and uh, you'll be, be notified every time he uh, uploads a new show. He generally is pretty consistent on Sunday. Every Sunday morning he does a two hour show and then usually throughout the week he'll do one or two or a couple of, at least uh, he tries to do one every morning but it doesn't always work, right? We're truck drivers, right? And he is too, right? But uh, anyways, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed today's little vlog. With that being said, I'm out of here. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow.